I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a 1987 Yamaha G2. Um, it's uh, five foot, uh, five foot seven, I believe, right in there, um, which is a good size for a grand piano, particularly for a living room. I service pianos, um, of course, in in living rooms um, of all sizes and, and makes and models, um, and have for decades now. It's been 23 years that I've been working on pianos. And uh, I would say this, this size is probably about the average um, of, of si the, the average size that I see in people's living rooms. Um, smaller pianos, like five foot, five foot two, you know, they can be, they can be good pianos, but they don't quite cut it. Whereas, whereas a little bit larger piano like this, a five foot, five foot seven or so, really has a nice, um, really has a nice big bass. Um, and you, you have good power behind it, um, which uh, which is what which is what I like, um, and most musicians like as well. So from a from a cosmetic standpoint, this piano is is in nearly perfect condition. I would say probably an A, bordering on A plus condition from a cosmetic standpoint. Um, everything's been totally polished, buffed out. To this, to this high, high polish shine. And by the way, um, if you aren't aware, if you if you want a finish, a satin finish, we can do that on this piano or any other piano. Actually, let's get a shot of the. We have a 1984 Yamaha um, U1, where you can, you can actually see the original finish under here. It was originally a shiny, high gloss um, finish, and we've satinized it. It's just kind of a nice. Um, Kind of a classy look, I guess. But um, so so that's a that's an option on on this piano or or any of these, the others that we have. Okay, so so much for the cosmetics. Let's talk about the inside. The inside has also been refurbished similarly as the um, as the exterior has the the finish has. To, to make it function as well as it possibly can function in spite of its, um, its age. Going in, what, about 30, I guess, 31, <laughs> 31 years old, which for a piano is not very old. But nonetheless, there are, there are some things that show up. Um, hammers start to, start to have little grooves in them after 31 years, really after, I mean, it, it, frankly, it starts immediately when the piano is is being used. They start the hammers start to get grooved and worn, and things start to loosen up and get, go out of alignment, and regulation changes. Okay, so this um, the the hammers have been reshaped. The everything's been tightened and lubricated and properly aligned and regulated. All of this these this component in here is called the whippin. That's kind of the main driver. Of the of the piano action, and there's built-in adjustment here. There's built-in adjustment here underneath the key. There's a what's called a capstan. I don't know if you can see that right there where I'm pointing. Um, there's a spring in here that uh, that is supposed to be not too tight, not too loose, or strong or weak. There's also a little adjustment point here on the jack. So um, and a few others like the distance of this back check to the, the relationship of the back check here to the tail so that, that that tail catches on the back check at just the right point. And back here, this little red felt covered piece at the back of the key, that's supposed to come in contact with the, with the damper at just the right time. And other things, I'm, I'm kind of glossing over um, relatively quickly, the kinds of the kinds of things that we do to to ensure that the the touch is just right. Um, of course, leveling the keys and ensuring that the distance that you can depress the key is not too deep or not too shallow. Um, I mean, essentially, we're just we're trying to we're trying to restore the instrument to um, functionality of what it was 31 years ago. Which, again, to emphasize what I was talking about a minute ago. 31 years is not that long for a piano, but it's enough time that, that all of what I'm talking about is certainly necessary and definitely um, the piano benefits enormously from, from this work. 
And I would, I would say that, uh, that now that we've done this, we've, we've come pretty close to restoring the piano, at least from a functional standpoint, pretty close to what it was when it was brand new in 1987. And of course it's been tuned, it's up to concert pitch, all the pedals um, fully functioning as they're, as they're supposed to. Maybe slightly um, uh, kind of middle of the road as far as voicing, of course, um, like I was talking about with the finish where we can make changes with the finish if, if you have a preference one way or the other, we can, we can also make changes as far as the brightness or the, the darkness of the tone as well to um, make it mellow or make it brighter, bring out whatever, whatever you like. But where, where it's at I think is pleasing to probably 90 plus 95 percent of, of, of uh, even serious musicians I think would really like this piano. So um, there you have it. Come try it out for yourself. Uh, the address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.